Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the PLM introduction. PLM stands for the Product Lifecycle Management. Just observe the image. We are taking example of the product, and the product is the car. Okay, it is based on the automotive design and development company. So this car, okay, initially it is at the conceptual stage in the form of the sketch. Then in the step two, uh, a detailed overall layout of that design get created. Then in the step three, in detail this design and component design is done, and the product get developed, and then it said sent to the manufacturing. And after manufacturing, the car get launch. Okay, so this management. of the life cycle okay from the conceptual stage to the manufacturing or you can say to the launch stage okay in the form of the information or the data or in the documentation it is called the life cycle management of that product and this management can be done by the plm softwares there are number of different plm softwares available in the market here we are talking about the team center plm team center is one computerized plm software by using its functionality we manage the product information okay uh, and its life cycle and we process the product data so we need to understand why this plm is required and what are the benefit of that plm system now here we are just uh, showing the technical terms related to the plm so plm stand for the product life cycle management and it is a software that helps in managing the product life cycle from concept to the retirement plm software provides a platform for the companies to build and manage their product from initial design phase to the final phase of the production and in this where it helps in reducing the time and cost of the managing the different aspect of the product life cycle by providing the centralized information on one platform we have taken the example of the car okay and it's it get developed from the its design or concept phase to the manufacturing phase so there will be the number of department and number of employees are working under that department so all that department and this all that employees get connected to the centralized system by using this plm softwares so everyone is on the same page of the information okay no one is behind or forward okay they are on the same page of the information actually what is going with that product for example we are taking here the different department in the company so this i am taking here eight different department like project management purchase department design and development manufacturing quality supplier aftermarket sales so these all the departments are working for the particular product to make it happen and get launch on the time so this department before plm systems they share the data and information on the server or by using the mails but sometimes suppose in case miscommunication happen then there will be the rejection and rework on the product so this all department has the dependency on each other this quality department has the dependency on design and development department manufacturing department has dependency on the design and development okay because for manufacturing they need to take the proper cad data latest level cad data suppose miscommunication happen and they are taking the different cad data then it will create the big issue also same for the quality okay they have taken the wrong drawings of the particular data and so there will be the rejection of the product 
so these all departments are need to connected with one centralized system so all the current level of information are on the same page okay it 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 becomes steady no one is behind and no one is forward so it help to make the product happen in the less time or it get launch on the given timeline these all the departments are need to get connected with one uh, centralized system so as shown in the presentation okay it get connected with the centralized system who has the cat data specification sheet drawing purchase order quality reports all information so here what happen design and development their work is to save the latest level of cat data or latest level of the drawing so quality department can easily take that latest level of drawings and they check the product is as per the drawing uh, get manufactured or not this manufacturing department get the cat data for the manufacturing purposes okay or all this suppose purchase someone this supplier want to uh, view the purchase order so he can easily view the purchase order okay latest level of purchase order or suppose whatever the quality department provide the quality report it can easily accessible by the manufacturing department and design and development department so the connection with the centralized system is very important so there will be the no rejection or no rework or cost saving or time get reduce and product get launch in the less time of period because in the market the competition is more everyone want good product in the less time and for that this plm system is very very important in the market uh, there are different plm softwares but uh, team center is mostly use here is the list of the different plm systems we uh, know in general this 3d experience you know yeah uh, ptc winchill okay and siemens team center all other sal there but they have the less functionality okay they have just pdm functionalities but team center is providing the complete life cycle management and whatever the requirement the client having it can be achieved okay in the team center so this software get user friendly for that particular client or company